right, ladies and gentlemen, so we have some big banners coming back, uh, or returning. Uh, do note, these are returning banners, so unfortunately there is going to be no pity, but we got the leaks in the BBS server, or despite the server, that's where people post most of the little leaks. Uh, so, this banner is the main one that's going to be returning the Chojuro Yamamoto for Brave Battles, and then Yatru Unahana. Most people are probably going to only want to summon on this banner, but there are a few others. Um, now, we don't know any of the filler. We don't know exactly when. Uh, I just checked, and it doesn't say an exact time. Some visitor says banners coming soon. So if I had to guess, I would assume that they would be dropping sometime next week. So keep that in mind. We don't know the exact date, but they are coming. Um, and I'm not going to lie. I still think this banner is worth summoning, but it's just like... How deep do you really want to go? Because realistically, the only character that, in my opinion, that's actually worth summoning for is Yatru. Now, yes, uh, with the new PvP ticket and Brave Battles, Yamamoto does have more value in a way. But still, it's Brave Battles. You don't need him to get a bunch of coins. You can still get the third seat without him. It's really not even that hard. Uh, Chojo, he is a droplet farmer and a plus five potion. So he's not terrible, but I, I, I still don't think he's... As much valuable as like Yachu. If you have one or two five Yachu, I think you're fine. I think you can easily skip and just save for anniversary or swimsuits or part two Annie or just your favorite thousand year blood war or upcoming character. Because who knows, maybe they'll do more future society or some sort of new seasonal or something like that, you know? Um, so that's up to you, obviously. So no pity. Maybe go five steps, test your luck. Um, and yeah. <laughs> One of the best banners of the entire year as of last year. I think it was probably the, the top rated number one banner or possibly number two. Maybe end of year was rated better. But either way, easily top three best banners of last year. Um, really hope that they at least have some decent filler. But I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's going to have a mediocre filler. And probably going to have Masaki and Ishin on it. Huh? Who's with me? Who, who's also thinking that? That's what I'm thinking. Um, now for the second banner. It is the Dark Rukia... Oh god, I don't know that guy's name. Is it Kagaroza? I, I don't know actually what the movie p uh, banner's name is. Let me just see if I go to news and uh, type in uh, movie. What are their names? Red dude's name? Red dude's name is Kokuto. Okay, and then the uh, green guy name is uh, Sojuro Kusaka. Okay, so it's those guys. None of them are good. For some reason, I thought this was Koga. I'm like, oh, maybe they're going to drop him, you know, in a banner, make people summon before his resurrection. Yeah, no, this ain't Koga. So, <laughs> I don't know. It kind of looks like him. Kind of. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, not really. But either way, this banner is probably an insane skip unless you're a fan of this filler arc. Or maybe you're just a Rukia stand and you don't have this Rukia. Then sure, go for it, I guess. I don't recommend it at all. The characters are, aren't good at all. I don't even know if they're even decent links. I don't even know if they're resurrected. I don't believe they have. But I don't think they are all that, to be, to be honest. Um, so easy skip for 99.9% .9 of people. I assume the filler is also going to be even worse than the Thousand or Bubble War filler, which is kind of crazy. Uh, the third banner... Is just this banner. I don't know why it gets reran so many times. This is such a boring banner. I doubt maybe two people summon on it every year. Just because like, oh wow, these must be new characters because it's a banner in the game. No, they're like 2019 characters if I want to say. Um, I think the Yamamoto is a good link. I believe he is resurrected. Let me actually just double check. I'm actually kind of curious if he actually did end up resurrecting. Uh, Izuru is whatever. He has like no use. Uh... He has not resurrected yet, so maybe the Yam will be redeemed. Maybe he'll be redeemed. So these characters probably haven't have not resurrected. Chojo looks cool. I won't lie. I think this is my favorite Chojo in the game. Uh, but outside of that, uh, he has basically no use. They're very outdated. Haven't resurrected. So maybe they'll be good in time. Maybe they'll be good links. Who knows? But gonna assume very mediocre filler. Yet again, only a ten step banner. So no pity and no like barely any five star guarantees. Not worth even. Throwing a few orbs at not even a single multi to be honest unless you're a big Yamamoto fan or something I don't know as for the final banner. It is the Safui Mayuri and Gin banner Honestly, I I, 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 I I hate this banner this ban this banner sucks. It's two characters Mayuri has zero value in the entire game even on melee or wrong car max transcendent I don't think he has any value uh, Gin is a pretty good potion character, but nowadays I mean you can use uh Uryu, you can use Holly Bell, or, you know, just use a DPS character and bring a five 
plus five link slap potion character or use holly bell as a link if you really just don't like her kit use her as a link you get plus five super potions or just just get carried i don't know I, I don't think it's worth going potentially 25 steps for a super lackluster character overall i don't like him mine's only two up one or two out of five and i genuinely don't like him outside of him having a very good strong attack kit his damage his chance at, play, uh, at uh, proccing status summons doesn't feel that great. He also only has poison, a very lackluster status summon. Maybe if he had poison and weakening, that'd be better, but I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of the Gein outside of like his strong attack kit is very good. He has a 3k link beam. I don't know if it's the best vortex, but it is a vortex. And he has a full screen SA3, which is really nice. And he also has an instant kill on his ultimate. But outside of that, Mayuri was a nuka for guild quest. Got absolutely power crept super fast. Dean, potion character. These three characters are unusable. These three characters are unusable. And then Yachu, Yachu Unahana is still best speed character. Maybe top two, I guess, because of Kangdu, whatever. Either way, best Soul Reaper Captain Killer for speed. Uh, Yamamoto top three pvp pet characters and then chodra is a droplet farmer so let me know if you guys are going to summon i will be skipping every single one of these banners because they have absolutely no value to me hope you guys get not shafted almost not shafted hope you guys don't get shafted hope you guys get lucky take care and peace out